Texers, it's actually been a couple weeks since I was live in the studio talking to you because I've been abroad at Munich uh, Electronica Festival, which is a bunch of uh, you know companies talking shop to each other and like selling each other connectors and IoT things and other cool stuff. Uh, and then I was in England for a week because of heavy smoke in California, which is thankfully now gone, uh, and also to talk to some cool peeps. So we're gonna uh, look at one of those things in just a second. Um, while I was at Electronica, I got a quick peek at a few different things, and we posted some videos of those things, uh, including uh, the Arduino Pro Gateway for Laura, the Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus, and the Arduino Uno Wi-Fi with an IMU built in. And that video actually has a pretty sweet robotic arm demo. So check those out. If you just log into Hackster, you can go to the main page, hackster.io, uh, and you'll see the videos right there. Um, also, of course, they are on our YouTube channel. So you just go to hackster.io on YouTube and you find all our videos there. And the three most recent ones are those that I just mentioned. Um, so <laughs> you can actually see this there as well. Anyway. Um, I haven't been in the office and finally we are back and I can open some of the mail I got while I was away, which includes the LoRa gateway hat, presumably from uh, Arduino. I don't know of any other IoT LoRa gateway hat that I was supposed to be receiving, so I'm just gonna rip this open. So excited. Oh boy, look at that. Ooh. You know, this might not actually be made by Arduino. I could be mistaken. This might not be from Arduino at all. We've got a couple of logos here. You know, sometimes we get things and I'm not sure who they are from, so this might not actually be that same thing. It is from Pi Supply, Z Maker Emporium. Uh, you're awesome. Oh, that looks like some kind of a code. Oh, it's not. It's just a, uh, a couple of URLs. Well, let's have a look at this. So what it says on the box is, Our IoT LoRa Gateway hat allows you to create an inexpensive LoRa Gateway compatible with the Things Network in conjunction with a Raspberry Pi or other single board computers. This hat allows you to set up your IoT LoRa Gateway in minutes rather than hours for a third of the price of traditional gateways. So uh, let's try and figure out if this is the same one that I was <laughs> expecting it to be. Uh, uses the Rack Wireless Rack 833 MPCIe LoRa Gateway uh, Concentrator Module, which is based on Semtech blah, 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 technology. So um, what we can do here is see if this actually has the same. Uh, okay, SX1301 from Semtech. Uh, that is what it says on the box here. So I am a little confused, I guess, because it doesn't have any Arduino branding on it, um, which is really interesting. Um, IoT Gateway hat board, Rack 833 pre-assembled, mounting hardware, stickers, and info card. Cool. Huh. Neat. Um, so this is pretty cool. If you go to pisupply.com slash IoT, let's go there. Get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I mean, it's exciting no matter what it is. Ooh, solar panel for cheap. That's nice. Hmm, I'm not getting the rest of the site here. It could just be a slow connection. But let's see. Shop. Da -da -da. Is there any like IoT thing here? Uh, resources. Hmm going to uk.pysupply.com, which may be, it's probably not because I was just in the UK. There's probably some other reason. But anyway, okay, cool. Uh, well, we have this thing now. I believe it is the same one. Um, and if you watch the video for the LoRa Gateway, you will find out that uh, it works well with the Arduino Maker One 1300. Uh, which is a board that you could use to build little nodes that talk to the internet through your gateway. And they all talk to each other with Laura. This is really interesting. So let's look at the picture here. 
Can I expand this? Can we embiggen? Come on. View image. Okay. So. This looks vaguely similar. We have superficially the same connections on here, pretty much. So if we look at, um, I guess I gotta make this picture into this, fit into your screen here. Um, yeah, so if we look at this, we've got the connector on the left, we've got this uh, connector at the top, and then we've got this guy, which I'm not actually, I've never seen one of these before, on the right. It's clearly some kind of a little spring uh, actuated thing for holding something in here, which has got to be this guy, the Rack 833. Let's just pop that in there. Pretend we know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, so if we match up the little contacts here, we do this. Doop. And then presumably we push it in and push it down into this thingy. Come on. Springs. I think I need to push it in a little bit further. Trying not to be too rough with this. I know that I have an incredible amount of brute strength, uh, obviously. So <laughs> it's getting caught on this little little plastic piece here. Maybe I will leave that for later. Am I supposed to like move this to the side or something? Or can I pull it off? Maybe I can pull it off completely. Ooh. Clip comes off. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Push it in, push it down, and then I'm gonna put this back on because it might want to be there. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't fit. Um, cool. Or maybe it does? No, it doesn't. I think it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure there's instructions on the website that you should probably follow instead of watching this. Uh, but here we go. I have a Laura Concentrator Gateway Module. Very cool. Um, yeah, and again, you have, okay, pisa.ly slash Laura. Let's get to the bottom of this. One end of typing. Ooh. Oh. Duh. Slash instead of a dot there. And again, it has redirected me to straightupukpi supplycom Can I not just... <laughs> I'm not in the UK! Stop sending me there! Well, you know, it looks basically the same, is my point. Um, you've got the little card connector thingy there. You've got the thingy on the other side. It's not exactly the same. It's pretty similar, but it's not the same. So, um, Pi Supply Laura. Gateway. Let's see if good old Google can just get us to the direct page. Looks like this will be the thing. Yes! Glorious! Okay, right colors. It's even got the little headers in there. Um, neat! It's a pre-order. So I totally lied about what this was in the description, so just kind of ignore that for now. Uh, I will correct it after this uh, live video ends, so if you're watching this as a recording, it's totally fine. Neat! Well, uh, there is quite a lot of activity going on then in this space. They are two different things, it seems. And uh, you can hold out for the Arduino Pro Gateway for Laura thing as well, from Arduino. And if someone on the inside happens to know that these are the same thing, just let me know. Okay, on to the next thing! Uh, enough of this like messing around and trying to figure out what in the heck is going on? All right. So, uh, just gently shove that all to the side. Nice stickers, though. Things network. This thing, I like this one. This one is very sort of sporty, kind of like race car. Lots of energy. Uh, I like the colors. And then there's this guy, Pie Supply. Very neat. All right, all right. <laughs> there were some antennas in there too, by the way. Um, quite large ones. Whoa! I mean, you know, relatively for for IoT stuff. Um, and some little metal standoffs. Ooh, metal. Very nice. And a heatsink. <laughs> I 
I didn't really show you most of what was in that package. Uh, it's my first day back. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Package number two. I couldn't tell what this was uh, without opening it, so I did. But ta-da! Um, this is the Simbisa from Henha. Very exciting. Um, let me tell you about this thing because I did a whole interview with CEO Azar, who who gave me a lot of coaching on how to pronounce his name. Um, and it's basically a cool unit that includes a bunch of sensors that you put in a package to help track it. It's got built-in GPS, uh, cellular connection, and all kinds of stuff. Now what makes this different from many of the other ones that you've heard of is that it has a lot of interesting infrastructure behind it. It has its own, like, Hanha run their own mobile network that all of these connect to, which makes it quite secure. Um, so we sort of compared it to uh, let's look at this box. <laughs> we compared it to having a tunnel. Like, okay, so so say that you know most IoT traffic goes through the regular internet, right? So it's sort of like driving on a highway, and if you want to apply security to that, if you want to make it very secure, then you basically have to drive an armored car down there. You need to make your traffic really encrypted and like do all this stuff to make it really nice um, so that no one can intercept that and hack it, you know? Um, however, this is like having a whole separate highway or a tunnel. Very much like a tunnel, in fact. <laughs> and uh, the, the analogy that he used was you can send a bicyclist down that tunnel because they don't have to have a bunch of protection because, you know, at the point that someone's able to break into that tunnel, you're probably not going to be able to do much with an armored car anyway. So it makes the whole platform much more lightweight, which is nice. And so we have this module, which is also the sort of brains of their, what was it called? Parcelive system. So you can, as a person who does shipping, put one of these things inside of a product and um, It'll basically track itself. You just push the button and it starts tracking itself. It tracks orientation and it sends all of this directly to an Excel file, which is the other really cool thing about this, I think. Like, that's very exceptional. You would not expect a high-end IoT product to talk to Excel, but it makes perfect sense because most of the people using this stuff for shipping aren't engineers, and they shouldn't have to be. They shouldn't have to contract with outside engineers either. Someone in their organization almost certainly already knows Excel, and they can easily look up these files that automatically update with the information, the data from these sensors, and they can organize it however they want. Uh, Excel is really powerful for building sort of custom views of data, right? And so they can use all those skills that they already have in order to track this stuff. Another really cool, I'm going to give away like most of the video here, but I'm hoping to have it out by the end of the day, so it's not that much of a spoiler. But, um, oh yeah, the other cool thing is that, so you see this little e-paper display here, right? So once it reaches its destination, it puts its own little return address on there. So all they have to do is like drop it in the mail and it mails itself back to Hanha. Um, or the original sender of the stuff. So it sort of, so there's no way that you're not going to lose the hardware without like a lot of negligence on the other end. It, they make it really easy to get this stuff back. Um, it's a really cool device. Plus, plus there's one other spoiler, which is that this package is clear. And that's not just because they have this sort of like 90s technology fetish. Like, I mean, that was a great look, but uh, it's because this stuff is meant to go all over the world to like 400 company countries or something and As we have run into when shipping hardware you often run into issues with Customs and things like that and security so they made it clear so that customs agents can easily check the interior and see that oh there's nothing else in here other than the, what they say on their website and it's pretty clearly like not a bomb. So that's really cool. Uh, it does say that it contains a lithium polymer battery, but that is not the same. So that's very cool. Um, I'm really excited to share with you the videos that we made. They were pretty entertaining if I do say myself. It was very fun being there on the shores of the Thames River uh, and you know watching it update its location 
in the Excel spreadsheet based on that, you also get a cool sort of online view of the GPS of where it is. It's very easy to use. And there's like temperature and other, other sensors and stuff too, like light sensors that I'm not gonna go into right now. You have to watch the other video. Finally, okay, so that's two really cool things, right? We've got this, this Nito Laura gateway, which is not the one I thought it was, but it's very exciting nonetheless. And then we've got this Hanha one. Uh, it's Simbisa, and then we have one other thing, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> so earlier this month, the latest issue of Make Magazine came out, and uh, Archimedes, who is currently missing another wing, has an entire... Ooh, ah, where is the... I should probably look in the table of contents, but there's a four-page tutorial on how to build Archimedes! It's so cool! And obviously the Hackster tutorial is still up at bit.ly slash robot owl. Um, anytime you want to build your own. Ooh! Actually, this is really interesting too. Cool! Build your own like laser etched edge lit acrylic thick Nixie tubes. Looks like. Okay, so then you go. Robot owl! That's so cool! Page 52 uh, through 55! And it's a huge, like, really lots of nice pictures. Uh, it goes into great detail. This team were awesome to work with. I'm really excited about it. They made it look so pretty. And they sent me a copy. Oh my goodness. So uh, pick up your latest Make Magazine if you want to see that. Um, and obviously check back in the Hackster tutorial. Again, that's at bit.ly slash robot owl. Um, because I have some exciting new updates from the London trip. Uh, Basically, I'm teaching Archimedes to respond to audio cues sent over Chirp, which is this really cute data over audio protocol. And there's gonna be so much to say about that, but basically like you can send him emotions now, like little emoji, and he actually responds by physically emoting, like doing little like, oh, sad face, or like really happy, like laughing face. And there's so much more to come. So he's going to be able to talk. He's going to be able to listen in these adorable little sort of bird R2-D2 mashup noises. <sighs> Very exciting. So that's those are the three things that I was really stoked to find in the mail. There's some other stuff that I can't tell you about just yet. But we'll be back with more. Uh, stay tuned again for those interviews with um, Azar from Simbisa. Uh, or from Hanha about the Simbisa, and there's going to be tons more cool stuff coming up in the next few days, weeks, etc. Thanks for watching, have an awesome rest of your Tuesday, and we'll see you soon. Ciao! Oh, remember, you can uh, go to... Oh, not that. <laughs> you can go to straightuphackster.io uh, if you're logged in and see all the videos. Uh, if you're curious about what I was talking about with the Arduino Pro Gateway for Laura, that was our last MCU Monday. And of course, we are also on YouTube. And you can also see our videos on Facebook at the same Hackster.io username. All right, <laughs> catch you later.